place. It's amazing. Oh my gosh. Okay, they don't really know if it's a temple or a tomb, but it's very tomb-like in here. But, oh, it smells so good. Oh, you're so close. Okay, this part looks just like the organ you were talking about. Yeah. We found the stream like coming out of the rock and took that as a sign for where to build the monastery. So this is actually a really big moment for us. We're Nicole Amigo. In 2021, we decided to take the leap and trade our 9 to 5 jobs in order to travel full time. We believe travel is one of the best ways to build understanding between people. So we've hit the road on a journey to learn more about new cultures, unique places, and different foods. We'd love for you to join us, and if you're interested in coming along, you'll find new videos here twice a week. It's amazing. Oh my gosh. We are in heaven. We've gone out of the city and now we're in the countryside of Armenia. It is amazing. We rented a car, which was the best decision we've made since we got here. Uh, and that way we can just kind of explore. So we are on our way to a couple of stops, but we had to pull off the side of the road and check things out. It is so cool. It's so gorgeous. Oh, man, we're only what, like, 25 minutes out of the city, yeah. not even. Yeah, not even half an hour no. outside of Yerevan. And we're already in just this beautiful countryside. <sighs> it's so good. We have the car for two full days and now I am so stoked. Wish we had a drone. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been neat. No fancy drones here though. <laughs> I Honestly, I've never heard or I haven't really seen anything about the Armenian countryside before mm. we came to this country. And I'm glad I didn't look online or anything like that because when we came out here for the first time, Nicole and I found a hill yeah. and we thought that would be a great place to just uh, have a look at the area. Mm -hmm. And then we parked our car and literally ran up the hill <laughs> in order to get to the viewpoint. We're so excited. It's incredible. It's so beautiful. All right, our first stop for today is the Temple of Garni. Now what makes this temple so special is the last standing pagan temple in all of Armenia. It was built around a thousand years ago and was made to worship the sun god of Armenia. Look at that landscape. Like, what a backdrop, eh? Hey? So the temple um, has been here for ages, of course, but it actually was destroyed. Um, by an earthquake in the 17th century. So it was sort of remade in the, uh, I believe in the 1900s, which is what we see today. They have remnants of the original temple kind of strewn around here. The stairs are made for giants. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they don't really know if it's a temple or a tomb, but it's very tomb-like in here. Mm -hmm. It is tomb-like. The outside is temple-like, the inside is tomb-like. Echoey. For a, a temple that worships the sun god, you definitely need a sunlight. <laughs> so all around us now are the remnants of what was once a palace. So a palace sat next to the temple at one point. <laughs> Not exactly sure at which point. So apparently down in that valley below, there are natural rock formations on the side of the cliff. So we're trying to figure out if we can get there somehow. Good thing we got the SUV. <laughs> you know, the temple is very interesting, but I gotta say I'm in love with the view. We're leaving the temple. We're gonna go get some lunch. I think we can get something in the town nearby, which is called Garni. And it's, a, I guess, a very old, ancient Armenian town. So we'll see if they've got some good Armenian food. So Nicole and I have been roaming the streets of Garni and there's been a lot of construction happening. Good thing we got the bigger car. Oh my God. To put this tree in the middle of the road. <laughs> 
we were looking around for a while to find a restaurant and then stumbled across this place called the bread house this place is gorgeous look at these views out here unbelievable it's got a great view of the valley and you can also see the temple of garni in the distance it is right there <laughs> this is a miko meal merci okay so i got the lamb hashlama oh it smells so good it's just um lamb on bone and like a soup with uh, some vegetables and don't exactly know what else is in there but uh, it looks very very delicious oh my goodness that lamb is really really good Super we love good. Armenian food <laughs> oh my goodness. that lamb is actually so good it's so impressed it feels like it's been cooking for like a day and a half it's really yum this is one of the best tasting lamb I've ever had growing up it's like very it's part of Filipino cuisine and it tastes very, very similar, but this is just a little bit different. Can't really explain how different and why it's different, but man, this is so good. Need some rice, though. <laughs> <laughs> so this is actually a really big moment for us. Today, we are officially sponsored. <laughs> Basically, the host, she saw us uh, recording a video talking about the food. And then she gave us a free pop so that we could post it on her Facebook page. So that's great. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Our next stop now today is going to be to a place called the Symphony of Stones, which is really close by. Um, so we are going to get back on the road and head over there. All right, not very hard to find. Wow. So if you're nearby the Temple of Garni, there's a place called Symphony of Stones, which we just got to right now. But they show a really interesting geometry, and it looks like it's just peeling off the mountain or the side of the hill here. Look like they're all shaped like hexagons. It looks like a honeycomb of rock. Yeah, it's like in the honeycomb as well. But the outside kind of looks like an organ, like a piano organ. And you see the big vertical lines. What a neat place. So it's really interesting when you come right up to the wall, you can see how big they are. And they're all so orderly and hexagonal. It's almost like as if it was man-made. Okay, this part looks just like the organ you were talking about. Yeah. <laughs> the missing link. <laughs> how am I doing? Oh, you're so close. Will our insurance cover this? <laughs> if it falls on my head? <laughs> I fit. If you've ever been to the Giant's Causeway in Ireland, this is a lot like that. Really, really neat. So we had heard that Armenian roads were in rough shape. Um, we didn't know how rough. Turns out super rough. <laughs> we're on like a main highway. This is supposed to be a main road between two towns and uh, there are just potholes constantly like we're swerving on all sides of the road to get around them. Ah, we're making it. Oh, actually the road ahead of us now looks pretty nice. We have made our way through very bumpy roads to Gegard Monastery and what sets this monastery apart from others is that it is said that the spear that was used to uh, stab Christ when he was being crucified was held here. Uh, it has been moved to another monastery that is used as a museum. It was said to be held here uh, for many centuries so lots of people came here on pilgrimage. What's it for? Okay, what's going on here? It's hard though. So we're at the entrance of the monastery and then all of a sudden we see people by this wall and they're all picking up rocks and then trying to lob it into this kind of recessed section of the wall. We have no idea why or what the significance is, but it looks kind of fun. It's probably good luck or something. You should go try. Watch this first try. <laughs> Ah. 
Okay, we're gonna be here all day. <laughs> I don't have good enough aim for that. There's a wedding going on, so it's really busy. What a beautiful place to get married. Well, this is a beautiful church. Busy. It's very busy. I feel like there are more tourists here than people who are celebrating. There's no artificial lighting in this church, so everything's lit by either candles or the big uh, uh, hole in the roof. Hole in the roof. We have finally made it to our last stop of the day, which is Savanavank, we have a monastery at the edge of uh, Lake Savan. It's like 20 degrees colder here. Yeah. I don't know what happened, but all of a sudden it's like a nice crisp fall day. We made it to the top. It's a little bit windy. It's cold. And a lot of cold. But it's totally worth it. The monasteries are beautiful, I will say. It's got a great view of the lake below. It's actually a really nice place to build a monastery. Always on the top of a hill. <laughs> That's a thing for sure. And the lake goes on pretty far. I don't think I can see the end, although no. it's a little foggy it's down huge. there. Ooh, I just saw lightning. And uh, maybe we shouldn't be standing at the top <laughs> of a hill if there's lightning. <laughs> Consider this our walk around the lake. <laughs> She could do more, but it's too dark and cold. And now it's raining. I hear thunder. And that's thunder. Oh, it's raining. Okay, I think we're gonna start heading back to the car mm -hmm. because we see a lot of uh, lightning and we hear a little bit of thunder creeping up on us. So And it's raining! And it's raining <laughs> right now and we're at the top of a hill. So yeah, I think it's time for us to make our move and go. Yeah, we're gonna call it. So we will leave you guys here. We are headed back to Yerevan to start our day off there tomorrow and uh, we've got some more fun things planned to share with you then. All so, right. Until then. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Do the hand thing. What? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Armenia. Ta -da. Super, super neat. Super, super neat. Uh, <laughs> hole in the roof. Hole in the roof. Sunlight. Sun. Sunroof. Sunlight. Sunroof? No. Sun. Oh my god, you said it earlier. Sunlight. I said it earlier. Sun... Roof window? Sunlight. Sunlight. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> that monastery was built here to... Oh my god. I'm making stuff up now. She got a gorgeous view of the valley below. It's got a great view of the lake below. It's got a great view of the valley. So apparently down in that valley below... Whoa, I'm super overexposed. How do I fix that? Hey babe, look at me. The brightest thing you ever did see. You're so beautiful. So bright. <laughs> wow.